how to calculate kinetic energy without velocity? Question 1. A roller coaster of mass 200 kilograms. We have mass M is equals to 200 kilograms. Approaches a hill at a certain velocity at ground level. A continuous of the hill until it reaches its peak at 50 meters. This is telling us that H, which is the height, is 50 meters. What was its original velocity at ground level? What was its original velocity at ground level? To solve this problem, we use the formula half fb squared is equal to mgh. However, as we can see from the question, g is what it is us, and we know g is a constant which is acceleration due to gravity and is equal to 10 meter per second squared. This is the formula we are going to use. Now, half mv squared is equal to mgh. M will cancel M. Let me not square B squared and half. Now this half B squared is equal to GH. When we substitute the values of G and H and B from this data into this uh, equation, we will have something like half B squared, remember that we are looking for B, is equal to G, which is 10, times height, which is 50, times 50. And this is going to give us, therefore, this implies that we would have B squared times 1 over 2 is the same thing as 2, is equal to 10 times 50, which is 500. This is also the same thing as to say that if you cross multiply, you will have sorry. If you cross multiply, you have b squared is equal to 2 times 500, which is 1,000. And therefore, V is equal to, we take square root of both sides. This will cancel this, and leaving us with square root of 1,000. We use your calculator, what is the square root of 1,000? The square root of 1,000 is 31.62. This is 31. Point six two. Therefore, our V is equal to at one point six two. Remember that the unit of velocity is in meter per second. Therefore, this is meters per second, which is the final answer. Let us look at another problem and see how we can be able to solve. A two kilogram block is attached to a horizontal spring of mass of spring constant. We have mass m is equal to two kilograms. It's attached to a spring of spring constant. We have a spring constant k is equal to four newton per meter. With the other end fixed to a wall, the block slides on a frictionless table as it oscillates. During an oscillation, the block moves through the equilibrium at some speed b before stretching the spring 
to 0 0.5 meters. This is telling us that our stretch or elastic voltage uh, of say displacement x is equal to 0 0.5 meters, where it is momentarily at rest. What is the speed of the block at the equilibrium position? In this case, we are going to use a formula half mv squared is equal to half kx squared. Half we can say half, leaving us with mv squared is equal to kx squared. What is the speed of the block at the equilibrium position? We are to find the speed, we are to find v. Since we have to find v, we divide both sides by m, by m, constant m. And therefore, now, if we take square root of both sides, we we'll have v is equal to square root of kx squared over m. Now, from here, since this is what we have, v is equal to square root of k here is equal to 4. Therefore, we'll write for times x, x is 0 0.5, but x is squared, therefore 0 0.5 squared, all over m, which is 2. And this is going to give us square root of 0 0.5 squared is equal to, if you first your calculator, you will see that 0 0.5 squared is equal to 0 0.25 therefore 0 0.25 times 4 will give you 1 therefore we have 1 over 2 hence we have square root of 1 over 2 1 divided by 2 is equal to 0 0.5 and square root of 0 0.5 is equal to Press your calculator, 0 0.5 is equal to 0 0.707. And the unit of speed B is equal to meters in meter per second. And therefore, this is our final answer, which is 0 0.707 meter per second. Let us also look at another problem and see how we can be able to solve it. to uh, uh, understand how to apply these formulas to solve uh, to find velocity without uh, to find uh, velocity without uh, I'm sorry to calculate kinetic energy how to calculate kinetic energy without velocity so as you can see now we solve two questions. In this case, the velocity is not given. Therefore, we apply the formula that is more relevant, most relevant to find the velocity by using by applying the kinetic energy formula at the same time by equating it with the potential energy uh, formula. Thank you for watching.